Borders and frames can be used on the video wall in order to do a number of things. Firstly, you're able to differentiate visually similar sources. This helps casual observers of the video wall determine which source has come from which location. Additionally, borders and frames could be used to show the importance of one source over another using a simple traffic light system. On screen now is our headquarters demo room video wall. And as you can see from the video, each of these sources currently has a border around them. It is possible to have a flashing border that can indicate importance or alternatively a static border so that you can tell one source from another when you quickly look at the video wall. To create your border, simply deploy your source to the video wall here. Right click and add colored border. In the console, you get a number of options. You can choose to add it to a carousel and you can choose to whether one color will be for the whole carousel or whether you will default to the source preset. For this window, you can choose a primary color and if you wish to use flashing, an alternative color. You can set the flash speed. Easing determines whether the flash between the two colors is from color one to color two or whether it will go through a range of colors between the two. Scaling can be used so that if you make your window bigger, the frame or border will get bigger with it. You can also choose how thick a border you would like. And for the purposes of demonstration, I shall make these larger. Click apply. And we now have our flashing border on the video wall. Please note, a border will cover some of the content on screen. Borders can be used for any vision or SQX source. If you would like to add a border to other sources, we have the frames option. The frame option is available here, and this will add a frame to any and all windows that you have on the video wall. You can choose your default frame color and any source I now add to the video wall will include the frame. You can change the frame color by simply coming to the cog down here at the bottom. You can either choose the source color, which you would predefine here within the source instance. or you can choose a specific color. Here are some examples of a layout file that contains frames. In this one, we have a traffic light system showing green for good, amber for warning, and red for critical information that must be seen.